two cowboys is at the Miller Girls 110th annual fair. It means people from this community and from southern Alberta is coming together to come and test their skill against each other. You wouldn't believe the little kids making things, baking things, the little engines, the animals, the rearing. It's, it just gives you a really proud feeling to be part of communities where people are still making things. Why is today such a special day? It's about community. It's about people coming together. It's about the old, the new and about how we can keep that heritage going forward. That's quite esoteric. Make it practical for me. What are we seeing here? We're seeing families, we're seeing food, agriculture, animals. It's about the people who have been here and who want to continue on with that agricultural bent. Lisa, we love Millerville Market and it keeps on growing and growing and growing. Tell us a little bit about the heritage. The market started um, about 30 some years ago. It's grown into a weekend event where people, particularly from the city, but certainly our surrounding areas and our neighbours come, and they're able to get some really great Alberta grown made produced products. So when you do a fair, it's an opportunity for people to showcase Excellent. some of what happens in this particular area. What's your favorite? Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. <laughs> Certainly the exhibits that are all set up in the arena and the Quonset. Uh, the kids love the petting zoo, they love getting up close to the animals. A lot of kids, especially the ones from the city, don't get that opportunity. And they can learn too because the people who are here exhibiting and showing their animals are the ones that have raised these animals. And so they're, they love talking about what it's like to raise a chicken or a, or a llama or a goat. And the vendors that are producing food, are we seeing more food being produced or seeing more people bringing it to market now than we've had before, do you think? People are more aware of what they're consuming and they want to see that, that kind of farm-to-table connection. And I think the, the growing public has responded to that opportunity. And that's why this market keeps on growing. Right on. <laughs> and we love this market. Great. And I, one last question is, in 110 years from now, is this still going to happen, you think? Because you and I will be long gone then. We'll be long gone. I hope so. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, me too.